2023. This has been a good year for us, for our farm. Um, just thinking about the year in review, I was reminded of a song that we sing in church that all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. And every time we sing that, it brings tears to my eyes, I think, because yeah. it is so true that God has been so good to us all of our lives, and we know that He will be faithful in the future, too. But just thinking back, it's been good for us to do a little bit of musing of things that have happened in the past year. One of the things that was a major accomplishment that happened in January was that we finished assembling our high tunnel. We purchased that from a USDA grant and we had a deadline to have that completed in order to get our grant money turned back in, so uh, or refunded to us, I guess would be the better way to say it. And so uh, that was a, a God thing and a couple of ways that we were able to finish that and get our grant reimbursed. So that turned out well, but just because we had the covering up didn't mean we were good to go. So what <laughs> else had to be done? Well, we had to, one of the stipulations for getting this high tunnel was that we had to have food in the ground growing. And so we had, a, had to figure out how we could get something growing because we had to actually plow that ground up yeah. before we could even put anything in it. Um, and we were able to do that. It and was basic pasture kind of yeah. land. It had grass yeah. and weeds, mostly weeds, growing right. in it. And of course, that was one of the better grassy areas. Grassy, of course. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't tilled up or, or dug up no. soil very much. So, yeah, we no. had to dig that up. Yep, so we ended up getting that done. Mm -hmm. And then piece the next... by piece, you know, we do a, a yeah. row at a time. We put rows in there of, for crops, and so yes. then we did one row one week, and. Yep. Yep. And just continued until we had it planted. <laughs> yep. But the success is that we were able to grow a lot of food in that high tunnel, even this first year. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how that was going to work in no. Florida. I had my doubts. Yeah. <laughs> I think we both did. <laughs> I just thought everything would cook. <clears throat> yeah. But it really didn't. No. Um, and we ended up actually putting a shade cloth over it. Yeah. And, and that, that helped out a whole lot for the temperature. a lot of difference. And it grew. Yeah. So we had a, several batches of zipper cream peas. They're our favorite southern pea. Yeah. And so we've got a freezer full of peas. Of peas. Yes. And we had Swiss chard. Yeah. We grew a lot of that. Yep. And then we had sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, yeah. And did well with that. Our granddaughter Callie had so much fun digging those sweet potatoes out of the out of the barrels, and so <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then our loofah took off. Oh, yeah. We had loofah <laughs> like crazy, too. Yeah. So it, it has done well. Yeah. Anyway, another thing that we did was we uh, sold pigs yeah. and actually butchered some, too. Right. So we have a freezer full of pork now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a good thing. We got our, our money back, our investment in feed. <laughs> yeah. And since we actually butchered and sold the pigs that we had, you've probably seen in our past videos, um, we made the decision to actually get rid of those pigs and go in a different direction with right. pigs. And so now we have what they call IPPs for short, as Idaho Pasture Pigs, and we have them now we're raising, and they are doing well. Yes. They're a very nice breed. Um, we are raising them. We even have some piglets available uh, to mm -hmm. sell, but we had the two that we bought from a uh, lady... Uh, farm in south Avon Park, south of us, and we'd be happy to give you her information. <coughs> she just has such a wonderful place going, and she really knows the IPPs. Her name is Christine. So anyway, um, we're very happy with the two. They were gilts then that we yeah. bought. One of them had been bred, and we just, well, we thought it she had, but then we didn't think she had. Yeah. And then we kept watching and watching, and then all of a sudden, it became evident that she really was pregnant, yep. and we yep. had to turn to and find a, <laughs> a place to put piglets. Yes. Had to create a whole new pen for them, 
move them out um, and get her in a, in a place where she could have the piglets and she ended up having five and so now we have them. Okay. We built a, a shelter for the, the two gilts that we were just talking mm -hmm. about. There's a video about that. You probably, if you haven't seen it, go check that out. We show how we built the pen for them and, and also the shelter for them to, to be in. Mm -hmm. um, and what happened after that? We, well, we also purchased a boar. Oh, yeah. um, Christine helped us by getting a boar from another state, brought him down here. He is just such a sweetheart. <laughs> um, and he, he, well, Kevin had spoiled him. Oh, yeah. I always get blamed for that. <laughs> but you have. Oh, yeah. He is yeah. really a nice animal. <laughs> but all of our IPPs are so docile, they're yeah. so different from the other yes. breeds that we've raised in the past. Yes. Our, our grandkids go in the pen with them and love on them and scratch yeah. them and they just love it. They just enjoy it so, so much. They're not aggressive at all yeah. like the other pigs that we used to have. They were so big and so aggressive that I was about the only one that could go in there mm -hmm. and, and deal with them because they're too, too strong. Um, so anyway, so yeah, we, so we got our boar. His name is Barney. Yes. I think, we, did we do a video about yes, him? Yes, we, we have. have a video yes. about him, so you can check that out if you want to see him. He's, he's growing a, up very nicely. Yeah, yeah, he's a cute. So hopefully we can use him to breed the other gilt, Dottie, yeah. in the near future. We're hoping yeah. maybe in the next month or so that we can get her bred and... Uh, get some more piglets on the farm. Yeah, and I think then the next thing in line probably throughout the year was in the month of May, I think it was. We got the tractor. Right. We bought the tractor in May. We had been needing and wanting to have a tractor on the property. Um, and so we finally were able to get that. Yeah, got uh, a good deal on that. And yes. It sort of fell in our laps, so that was so, God's goodness again. I was going to say another God thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we took a trip to... Uh, Dallas, Texas area, uh, flew into Dallas anyway, and then traveled through Texas to go to the Mother Earth News <coughs> Fair in Belton yeah. last February. February, February. Yeah. February. And that was a good trip for us. We rented yeah. an RV and... Um, yeah. RV? Yeah, motorhome. RV, motorhome, whatever. Whatever. I, I don't know which it is. But that worked out very nice for us. We just loved touring around Texas and... Yeah. Just have a Did a lot of traveling. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of traveling. Texas, Texas is, is very oh big. Yes. You it don't was... just hop over to the next town. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that we did was that we um, built a new chicken tractor. Yeah. Uh, that was the Siskovitz tractor, uh, tractor no, wasn't it? No, it was, it was the one that you oh, created. Oh, the other one. Yeah. yeah it's one um, we just created on our own. Yeah. And it has, we found that other people have similar ones that we see on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But this has really worked out well for us. It yeah. kept the, the chickens that we were raising for meat birds very clean yes. and uh, easy to move. And yeah. um, It's what I like to call a low profile because it is very low to the ground. Right. Um, and we're able to move it. We have a rope on it and we can pull it and move it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. We raised that, a that, couple of batches of chicks that worked in out there. Well. Mm -hmm. And then we had chicken harvesting classes that we did, I think three classes that we did through the year, Yeah. and those were very well received, and yeah, yeah it's a new skill, and we plan to do that again in the coming year, mm -hmm. to raise some more and do some more classes, too. Uh, let's see, what else? We got our new little red barn, which I just think is so cute, and it's, <laughs> it's really just a shed. A storage shed, but it just says farm to me. But it, and it, we've got it set up so when we come in, it's the first thing straight ahead of us when we turn onto the driveway. And yeah. it just yeah. has been a good thing for us. And then yeah. the big thing is the pumpkin the patch. The pumpkin patch. We have never done that before. Talked about doing it and thought, okay, let's just do it. And so we did. In the month of October, every weekend, uh, Friday and Saturdays, we had a pumpkin patch available for people to come and buy pumpkins if they wanted to, and then we also had games and stuff set up for them to play. Um, what else did we Toward do? Toured the farm, uh, showed yeah. the animals, yeah. and just looked around at the farm and yep. 
<clears throat> had a couple of school groups come out. Our, our daughter brought out her homeschool group that she's yeah. in, and that was interesting. We had the, the the group was actually so big we had to do it in two weekends, um, but it, it worked out well. Oh, the kids they loved were, it. They were great people and yeah, so receptive <clears throat> and so well behaved. We just didn't know how groups of youngsters would do, and so that that turned out to be a very good thing. Yes, and we it did. we didn't have the. Um, we didn't have the number of guests that we had hoped for for our first mm. year, but there again, I really think God was good to us <laughs> to give us um, an entryway to yeah. figure things out, to figure out how things would work and how we can do it better in the yeah. future, or how we can plan for larger groups in the future, but right. it really went well. It really did, yeah. And so we're planning to do it again mm -hmm. next year, this next year. So if you're in Florida in October yes. next year, come see us. Yes. Come to our pumpkin patch. <laughs> we would love for you to come. And yes. We just had a good time. We had opportunities to spend quality time with church friends that came yes. out and uh, got to know them. And our church group came out the last weekend. Last and weekend, yeah. So good to get to spend time with them, too. So. Yeah. A lot of work went into that. Oh, it did. Pretty much, we quit doing videos <laughs> because we started working on that yeah. full time yes. starting yes. in August. It was so hot. Yes. And then it was so wet and we couldn't work. But, right. um, yeah, that took a lot of our time. But yeah. what we built up, now we can use in the future and we won't yeah. have to redo all of that. Yeah, so if you've been watching our videos and trying to kind of keep up with us and notice that we haven't had videos for a while, that's why. It <laughs> really it took, took a, a lot. lot of our time and energy yeah. for sure. So, yeah, but that was, so. that was a good thing. Yep. So that's pretty much a quick rundown. Yeah. Hopefully a quick rundown of what, we, <laughs> what we've done throughout this year. Uh, we were able to spend some good time with our family through the year, and that means so much to us. And, yes. Um, God's just been so good, provided for us. Mm -hmm. We enjoy sitting down to the table and saying, this came from our farm, this food <laughs> came from our farm, and stuff like that. So yes. God's good to provide us food, and we're hoping that in the future we will do even more of raising our own yes. food and being more and more self-sufficient. So, got a lot to look forward in the future, and the yes. good thing is that God will go with us next year too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yep. So thanks for joining us today. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Leave us comments. Tell us what you think about what, what we've talked about, what we're doing, and what's coming up in the future kind of thing. And if, you, if there's anything you'd like to see us do a video on, yeah. leave us a message about that too. So until next time, thanks for joining us here on Highway Homestead.